Hi guys, I'm Phoebe and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to prove if a student majors in mathematics, then he or she is an ideal lifelong partner. Let's get started. From the last lecture, we know there is an equivalence relation between being an ideal partner and being patient, resilient, realistic, detail-oriented, able to provide a sense of security, and good at cooking. The proof for this equivalence relation is a bit trivial, so now our focus today is based on proving if a student majors in mathematics, then he or she has the above characteristics. So let's prove these statements one by one. First, patience. If a student majors in math, then we want to show he or she is able to bear. Hey, what are you doing? I'm reading a mathematics reference book. Hey, do you want to grab some food with us? I'm still reading. How many pages are left? Three. That's nice. I'm so proud of you. What are you doing? Another book? No, not really. It's the previous book. I just have two pages left. Second, resilience. If a student majors in math, then we want to show he's able to recover quickly from misfortune or change. I finally finished the proof for question three. It's a really difficult question. I used three pages for the proof. But finally done. I mean, it's a really difficult one, but I'm so proud of myself and I'm so satisfied. The simple answer has just three lines. Third, realistic. If a student majors in math, then we want to show he or she is not visionary or impractical. Another full mark. I know I'm so talented in mathematics. I'll definitely shine in university. Can you understand the proof Professor wrote on the blackboard? Do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba do, ba do, ba do. Sorry, I'm trying to understand the question. Excuse me, Professor Wang. I think there is a more convenient way in solving this problem. We can first prove the isomorphism between. Fourth, detail-oriented. If a student majors in math, then we want to show he or she cares about details. Um, does the theorem require the function to be differentiable or continuous? Does it include the equal sign? Could this be considered as a counterexample? Wait, I forgot to check the linearity condition first. Fifth, providing a sense of security. If a student majors in math, then we want to show he or she has no time for cheating. Uh, maybe we can have a stronger conclusion here. Then he or she has no social life. Do you want to go to the party with us? I do want to, but I have a bad assignment at nine. Do you want to go to the party with us? I do want to, but I'm still studying for the midterm. Do you want to go to the party with us? I do want to, but I have to figure out this secret first. It's so difficult. Phoebe's not going to the party with us tonight. She's committed to maths. Finally, good at cooking. If a student majors in math, then he or she talks about cooking quite frequently, especially after midterms or finals. They usually discuss different cooking methods with their classmates, like cooked, fried, overfried, etc. Over time, as they study more difficult courses, their frequency of discussing cooking methods increases. So we've shown the if part of the statement. We've done our proof today. See you in the next lecture. Bye.